channel today's video we're doing another plus size fashion video and in this plus size fashion video is more of a plus size hacks video where I'm showing you guys my tips when it comes to shopping online for plus size clothes this is all the things that I like to use and like to keep in mind whenever I am purchasing clothes online do you know shopping online can be a struggle and to be honest you guys because I was so intimidated for shopping for clothes online um, I actually just recently started doing this the past couple years and over the years I figured out a couple of things that worked for me so I want to share all that information with you guys if you are a little bit uncomfortable or if you're just looking for tips to use when, when it comes to purchasing your clothes online I know Cyber Monday is coming up Black Friday is coming up so I wanted to put this video out before you uh, start looking into making some purchases and saving some money during Cyber Monday and uh, Black Friday if you guys want to see my video of my top 10 tips on shopping for clothes online just keep on watching <laughs> So tip number one when it comes to buying clothes online is to know your body type. Especially, I feel like on a curvier body, clothes that fits on someone who hasn't a pear-shaped body will not fit the same as someone like me with an apple-shaped body because of where all of the weight is distributed. Are you an apple-shaped body like me? Are you a pear-shaped body? What type of body type do you have? Where are all of your curves? And also keeping in mind, you know, what are some things that do look good on your body type? If you're an apple-shaped body like me, I'm always looking for uh, pieces that are v-neck. I'm also looking for pieces that have like an adjustable um, belt so I can adjust it however I want to give myself more of like a, a curve when I really don't have any. <laughs> tip number two basically goes with tip number one and tip number two is know your measurements. Know your body measurements. I can't stress this enough. Y'all, like that's so important. Like I know it's like common sense, but you'd be surprised how many people shop online for clothes without knowing their body type or their body measurements and not really knowing what size to pick. If you know your body measurements, you are way better off to figuring out clothes that fit you better because you know exactly what they are. Um, The three main things that you should always keep in mind is your chest measurements, your waist measurements and your hip measurements. Get one of those measuring tape and measure yourself in those areas and you wanna keep those numbers in mind and have those updated twice a year um, just to make sure you're up to date and they're relevant when you are looking for clothes online. Do look for clothes online, look for their sizing chart. That's where these measurements are going to come into play. So when you find an item that you really like, look at their measuring chart and see which one would best fit you. My tip is, if you feel like you're in between, always size up. Because if you size up, you can always go to a tailor and tailor it to your body and make it fit so much better. If you size down, you might not have enough fabric or you, it might not be able to work for you. And keep in mind, not every store is the same. It's crazy. So if I want to shop at store number A, their sizing chart may be different from store number B. So you want to make sure you have that measurements to be consistent as far as picking the right sizes for your body. Tip number three, read the descriptions. Read the descriptions of the clothing articles on the website. What fabric is it made out of? Is it something that's very stretchy and elastic and that'll fit or feel more comfortable? Or is it a fabric that's silk that may not, you know, drape over the body as well? What are your preferences? What do you like to wear? What do you feel comfortable in? For me, I love my cotton. I love my knits because they are elastic and they're very comfortable to wear and they look more flattering in my case. I am an apple-shaped body, so all of my weight is in my midsection. So I'm making sure I have clothes that'll fit all over my body and the stretchier materials and knitted materials will fit all over. I feel like we're now at a time where people are always posting their thoughts on the internet. So read them. So beneficial and so helpful. So go online and if you see a, an item that you really love but you just want a little more information to see if it's going to be worth the purchase or not, go ahead and look at the comments and see what people say. Do you need to size up for this? Do you need to size down? Is it true to fit? Is the quality of the materials good? These are the answers that you may find in the comments and in the reviews of the piece of, of, the piece of item that you want. Always make sure you're scrolling down to that. Try to shop at places that are catered for you and for places that are basically catered for you know people on the plus side. I personally love walking into Torrid because I feel like they have a size for everyone and you just don't feel 
I don't know, it just, it's such a positive experience every time I walk into Torrid because there's always something for me and there's always something for my body type. There's a lot of stores out there that will not have a size for you and it sucks, but we're not for it. We're going to go to the stores that are catered for you. Places like Target, they have an awesome plus size uh, line. There's Torrid, Forever 21 Plus, there's a Fashion Nova Curve. All these stores that you can find that does have clothing for your body type. Highly encourage you trying those out because you will more likely to find clothing pieces that is your size. So my next tip is to know exactly what you want. If you have an idea of what you want, it'll make the shopping experience a lot better because you'll be able to put in all the keywords into the search bar and boom, you'll find your things so much easier. Are you looking for a dress? Cool. What color? What size? What type of fabric are you looking for? What type of design or style are you looking for? Always keep that in mind when you are searching in the search bar because you'll be able to find what you are looking for a lot quicker. Make sure you're using the filters to filter down to exactly what piece that you want and I always make sure I have the plus size like a plus size filter selected that way I do have sizes catered for me and my body type. My next tip is for those who don't really know what they want but they're looking for a little inspiration and that is look for inspiration on other social media platforms. I personally love going on Pinterest and I love to type in fall plus size clothes or fall plus size outfits or fall outfits. I love typing those into places like Pinterest because there's so much inspiration that you can find on Pinterest, especially if you are a curvier person because you're able to see other bloggers and content creators and influencers, you know, who are on the plus size um, for you to look and get inspiration from. And then you can look at clothes similar to what they're wearing and you can purchase them. I just find that so much easier than going online and seeing all of these like different items and I'm just like, it could get, it could get very overwhelming um, trying to figure out what you want when you see all these different options. But if you have an idea, if you have that inspiration and you have an idea of what you want, you can be able to type that into the search bar and find something that you want and that'll fit into your body. All right, my next tip is to sort your clothes from low to high. Whenever it comes to online shopping, I'm always looking out for sales, for coupons, anything that's going to help me save money because I wanna save money. Because I wanna get the most out of my buck and get as much as I can for very little. And the best way you can do that is to actually sign up for the retailer's email subscription. They'll email you or text you and let you know what deals that they have, what coupons that you could use from them, and how you could really save money, but get cute things from them. Cyber Monday is coming up. It's actually fast approaching, so definitely keep those in mind. Um, and see what stores are going to have their big sales and keep ahead of time what pieces that you do want. That way, when you are shopping online, you already know exactly what you want and they don't run out because there is such a big sale going on. Um, also, look at this Chrome extension called Honey. I think Honey is one of the easiest way you can apply all the coupons and save a buck. It's a really cool Chrome extension where it really helps find all the coupons that are filtering in the internet universe. And then they apply it to your purchase. And if any of them applies, boom, you got a coupon that's applied and you save money. Always be prepared with exactly what you want before a sale. That way when you are shopping online, boom, 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 you're in and out, you got your things that you need and you're good to go. And when you are looking for things online and you're looking for clothes and you're browsing, make sure you're always browsing from low to high. I feel like that is such an easy way for you to find deals and really cool, really affordable things that are on sale for a really good price. Um, that's my go-to. It's like going to like it's like walking into a store and going straight to the sales section. You know exactly what's on sale um, and what's marked down. Pretty similar online and it's more organized so you can see it all at once. So instead of walking around in the store in the sales section trying to find things, you're just browsing online from low to high. So Black Friday and Cyber Monday is coming up, you guys. Please be safe if you are going to go out and um, venture out into the mall or the department stores to buy clothes. But if you are doing that Cyber Monday deal, I hope you guys keep these 10 tips in mind. And I really hope that this video was very helpful. Leave a comment down below if you guys have any hacks or any tips that I didn't mention in my video. I feel like sharing is caring and I would love to hear your tips and tricks and I want other viewers to also see some of those hacks. Um, but yeah, other than that, you guys have a happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you guys next time. Dreaming, only dreaming